Ira and John, you come before this marriage today ready to spend the rest of your lives together. I know that you have given this important step very serious consideration, and I hope that you are the beginning of many days and years of increasing happiness and fulfillment. Today is a day you'll always remember, the greatest in anyone's life. You started the journey as colleagues, became friends, then best friends turned lovers, turned soulmates in love, and today you'll complete it as husband and wife. Living your life with love and faith is not a singular destination, but a life long journey. The past holds many wonderful moments in your lives, but I hope that the best is still yet to be, and we all here wish you luck in your adventure. I vow to be the best husband I can be, not out of obligation, but out of love, to be there for you and to never leave you behind. I vow to support all of your rescue animal endeavors. I vow to nurture your goals and ambitions, to be there for the tough times and the triumphs, to be the person you need. I vow to love you in spite of your questionable bathroom towel etiquette. I call you my love because you are my world, you are my life, my everything. I vow to love you, to cherish you, and to take care of you until we are very, very old. John, Dominic, James, Ariani, I vow to be your ever faithful wife, to love, respect, and cherish you always. I vow to understand and reluctantly accept the inability to pause a Soulsborn or multiplayer game. <laughs> I vow to always listen to you. Yes, even your nerdy monologues about the discrepancies between Disney and Marvel versus Sony steelbook packaging and treat you with the utmost kindness and care always. I vow to not make you wait over 24 hours to watch a new Doctor Who episode as it is broadcasted to account for differences between Eastern Standard, British Summer and Greenwich Mean Time Zones. <laughs> And lastly, I vow to always prioritize our love, our friendship and our marriage and to constantly work on it even when difficulties inevitably arise, remembering now and forever that you are my constant. So therefore, by the power vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Australia and by the power of your love, and all the promises you made to each other today and all other days. With great pleasure, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your wife. When anyone ever asks me about my best friend, I'll always describe her as the most hilarious, kind, generous and loving person I've ever known. A strong woman for whom I'll always adore, admire and be proud of. Someone I'll always put on a pedestal because I believe that's where she belongs. When you walked into the room, I couldn't keep my eyes off of you. When I first heard about John, I never actually knew his name. 
I only knew him as he was referred to as the hot IT guy from work. When I first met John and Kira together for the very first time, the chemistry was easy for anyone to see. I can't wait to see the next chapters that you will make and share together. Your commitment really inspires me and watching your relationship grow over the years has been something special to watch. Dance with me beneath the stars Moonlight crashing on our wild hearts With your head in mind Everything is fine We've still got When knowing when Johnny is a good friend, I think one memory always sticks out in my mind. We used to go on cruises and uh, Johnny and I got profoundly lost in my old Forza in the back end of the Northern Beaches. It was just Johnny and I for like an hour and a half driving around trying to find our way out. The, the bond we had at that moment, I realised this is the, the friend forever. Uh, I had the pleasure of knowing that Johnny, you know, being my brother, being there for me always and always being a good person that can, I can always rely on and always is there to take care of me. the rest of us.